Welcome back everyone. We can start this new short adventure here because I'm just basically on my backyard, on my forest behind my house where I'm living here in the center of Slovenia. And we just decided to spend uh, well, an hour or two just in the pursuit of a very, very nice uh, bird. In particular, we are in the pursuit of the uh, Ural Owl. This bird is very uh, precious on my from my side because it's the it's the very first uh, of the family of the owls that I spotted uh, last year in the first uh, stage of the COVID. So just walking through the forest, I just found in front of me this very beautiful and majestic bird. He was in the daylight and he was pretty much uh, also asleep. So now I decided to spend some more time investigating where he used to uh, to fly and to, to spot for feeding and uh, hunting. And I found out in the last uh, year or so that on this place is uh, very often here when the sun goes down after one hour of the dusk, he's uh, also two or three of them, they are usual to come here on this place to, to hunt and uh, to fly over here. So we can still uh, afford to speak loud normally because they are still uh, not in, the, in this place. But let's get ready because soon they will come and we will have some fun. Okay, in the meantime that we wait for the Ural Halls to come, I'm just looking where are the typical position where he's going to, to perch on the, on the trees. It happened already often for me to see him on uh, a big tree that I have here on my left side and another one on the, on the right side. They're basically about uh, 60 to 70 meters to each other. So I'm just trying now to figure out where is the best position to me to be just hidden on some branches to, to be able to not to disturbing him, but also I, I can say that he's not even a shy uh, owls because uh, they are uh, pretty familiar also with me by now so there's no problem for them if I'm here and uh, looking at them while they are uh, just feeding so yeah just wait for the sun to to go down totally to get dark in the sky and then we can start some action For this evening session for the Ural Owl, I will uh, use two different uh, ways of uh, photography. Also because I want to be able to take some uh, videos as well. So I will need uh, to, to use the flashlight for the photography stills and also a torch to eliminate the owls once they will be uh, perching here on the trees uh, to be able also to make some, uh, some nice videos, to collect some materials, also to make some nice movies about them. Also now, as we can see, there's uh, some uh, wind picking up and from my experience, it's not even that bad for the Ural Owls to, to come and perching here. We must say that also we are just in the middle of the summer as well. Still now it's in, uh, 9 p.m. and we are about 28, 29 degrees Celsius, so it's uh, very warm. Just waiting for the owl to come. And we have a old deer just in front of us. It's just perfect now on this time of the day for them to come out from the forest and uh, start to walking around the fields in searching of food and just to be around. He's just stopping, totally still freezing in front of me. And now he's going away.
closer. So it's probably time to stop talking and be quiet and waiting for their arrival. The activity does not take long to arrive. Immediately, a couple arrives and they begin their acrobatic flights from tree to tree. Then, the first real close encounter are about 5 meters from me, which allows me to make beautiful close-ups for quality 4K videos and crazy 50 megapixel photos, obviously using the tripod in order to keep the shutter speed slow due to the low light. After spending about an hour in their company, I decide to go home and leave them alone, with the idea of returning the following day. It's the second day, and as soon as it gets dark, my friends immediately came back to visit me. granting me a flawless view and extraordinary moments observing them. I take this opportunity again to take further photographs at different focal lengths.
I'm going home happy once again. Here we are for the third day in a row. The first two days have been quite successful, I will say. I have had a lot of action and activity from the, the owls. From what I could recognize, there was three to four of them. And, uh, well, today I'm going to try something different. As long as I had already two days of very luck moments, uh, I will say that I'm going to try to build a perch for the house to come just by using a tripod and some uh, sticks and branches that uh, I will find here in the near forest. So let's just build it and then waiting for the darkness to fall again. Now that I had a big claim to see owls perching on my branch, but I still wanted to give it a try. You never know. Okay, this is going to be my perch for tonight. I really, really hope that I will be lucky enough to have a owl just sitting here next to me. Well, not really next to me. I will be just well hide inside the van, so I will be totally not disturbing them. So basically, on the past two nights, I've seen that just being in the middle of the road here, I was lucky enough to get them closer and closer. But in this way, probably I can leave them totally safe and peaceful, just free to hunt them for the mouse here in the field. Now let's go prepare the camera and everything in the tripe and so on, and let's wait for the darkness to come. So basically this is how I'm set up for tonight. This is like a mobile uh, shelter, <laughs> mobile hide. Well, actually it's not a really hide a van which is white from the outside, but yeah, it doesn't really care. Also because the, the owl don't really care. It's uh, three days basically that I'm coming here with the van and it's getting closer and closer. So no problem, let's wait now. While I'm waiting for the dark, I'm lucky enough to see a nice green woodpecker too. And a majestic buzzard floating in the warm high altitude currents. And also, a male roe deer shows up. And immediately, my friends return with their nocturnal singing. and it's really nice to see them in pairs close together as if they were just a couple going out on a Saturday night I love the silence of the summer evenings with crickets and the slight rustle of the wind in the trees.
At some point, I see something strange. Two suspicious eyes. Carefully, I start lightening a tree, and I see a silhouette resting on a branch. Wow, it's a pine martin trying to sleep. I am delighted by this view. I find it extremely sweet and funny at the same time. With this additional prize, I decide to go home sleep with the biggest smile on my face. If you love the video guys, please subscribe to the channel, thumbs up, comments and why not share it to your friends. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.